Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know why, Sharem. Uh, blinded by the light, along with Dora and the Lost City of Gold, are among some of the new release titles that are hitting Blu ray out in the market today. I'm gonna be heading on over to some of the usual spots, seeing what kind of fun stuff. I can come across maybe something deal wise, but I gotta be a little, you know, a little weary uh, when it comes to buying stuff, you know, th this week and next week because Black Friday is, uh, I believe, next week if I'm not mistaken. So I don't wanna buy something at full price when it can be like, you know, 10 bucks cheaper next week sometime, you know? So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go out there anyway, see if I can find anything cool. But if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out the past two videos I uploaded uh, this past weekend. Uh, one, uh, you know, hanging out with Tara Reid uh, from, uh, you know, American Pie and Josie and the Pussycats. Uh, she even signed my Josie and the Pussycats uh, DVD up there. Also got to have a, a nice little interview with uh, Don Wells, who, a.k.a. Marianne from Gilligan's Island. I'll have both of those videos in the description box if you guys want to check them out, man. I had a, had a fun time, uh, you know, <laughs> making those ones. So if you guys haven't seen those, definitely check those out. And if you guys do support these videos and you're watching it right now, give this video a thumbs up. You know, I, I usually get anywhere between like, you know, four to 7,000 views on these hoarding up videos. But if you guys support these videos, please give them a thumbs up. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can get uh, 700 thumbs up uh, on this hoarding up video this week. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can do it. Also, drop a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing. But let's head on out now and uh, see what we can find. Well, guys, at my first stop of the day, the local Goodwill. Let's head on in and see if they have anything. Well, heading on over to like the media slash book section that they have here. And it seems like the movies at this, you know, Goodwill are only these like two and a half shelves. So it's not as, not as uh, plentiful uh, as, uh, you know, as, as the past. And uh, what the heck? ER? Is that like a... A Japanese version of a season of ER right there, season six it looks like. There's really not a bunch of anything that I'm really seeing here. And this one, whatever this is, Step Up, is uh, stolen. Not even there. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can find anything kind of cool. The show was alright. These shows right here, if you guys have ever seen them, uh, were actually pretty decent. The L Word was a, little, it was a little bit more entertaining in my opinion. City of Angels was actually a fun... Uh, a, a, not a fun movie, but like a, a, a really decent uh, flick that I remember when it when it first came out. I have it uh, old dolls. I have the actual the same DVD at home. Let's see if this one's actually in here because the good ones I've been at lately, all the movies have been like jacked. Okay, it's there. It's one of those double sided, uh, you know, double sided discs and stuff. But is there anything worth getting in here today? You know what I mean? Like, cause this is this is the only like I said, only two uh, two and a half shelves. Uh, you know, of stuff to to go through, and it's not really all that you know eye catching, if you know what I mean. It's just kind of like generic -y stuff. Hmm. But this this is all right. This is not too bad. Black Beauty. Uh, this is the one from the, I believe the the early '90s. I, I remember this one and like Little Princess and stuff like that that came out around that same time. That I always kind of liked those movies. You know what I mean? Uh, from back you know back in the the early '90s. And uh, of course we got a random Scooby Doo disc right here. But well, I hope we have better luck at the other places we're gonna stop off at. From Goodwill to Big Lots. Let's head on in and see if they have any new media. Well, in Big Lots right now, taking a look at some of, uh, you know, their me the physical media that they have over here. So let's see what they have Blue Rizzle wise uh, right here. But f from right off the bat, looks like some of the same old stuff that's been here uh, for a while, like Riot. Uh, the new, you know, not a new one, but a, you know, Dolph Lundgren flick, Wish Upon, which is now $2.98, which is not a bad price. Uh, Panic in the Streets, wait a minute. I don't know if I've seen this one here before. Uh, an old, uh, old school Panic in the Streets, uh, Dog Eat Dog with Nicolas Cage. Uh, I mean, there's some, it looks like a couple of different things in here that I I don't think I've seen uh, in, at a Goodwill before. Joyride uh, on Blu-ray. Uh, that's all right. That's not a that's not a bad deal for that flick. I don't know if I already have this on Blu-ray or not. Hmm. I have to put that aside for a second just in case. But I think I may have that already. Bad Santa 2. It looks like it looks like the prices are ranging from like, well, like what's it called, uh, two not uh, two eighty eight to like what five bucks on some of these right now. Uh, that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad, but looks like a lot of the same kind of stuff like Norbit. 
I remember when I mean, this one uh, at one point was out of print or like really hard to find, and it was going for kind of ridiculous money. You know what I mean? Like forty bucks and up at, at one point that I remember, but I guess it's now back in print. And this movie wasn't that bad. You know what I mean? Like when I when I saw it, I was I was at my big you know at my biggest, and people you know thought it would be like offensive to you know obese people. And to me, I always thought it was funny, either you know skinny and or uh, you know bigger. You know. That, that I, I've always liked any, any, pretty much anything Eddie Murphy, man. I, I get uh, an enjoyment out of, but it doesn't look like I'm finding a whole lot of stuff in here. But let's see what what I see over here on this other side. Hmm, this is a lot more DVDs and a couple of more, you know, Norbit Blu-rays uh, right here. RoboCop, Gunman, Tomb Raider. Hmm. I mean, a lot of generic -y kind of things. But but like I was saying, the only two things that looks like that are worth getting is a joyride which I may have already and panic in the streets but at the same time if I bought panic in the streets I don't know if if and when I would ever open it to watch it you know what I mean I don't want I don't want to just get more stuff to add to the collection that just sits there well I'm gonna be passing on joyride right now just because I think I think I have that at home well guys the next stop of the day the local thrift store called Wimby's let's head on in and see what they got but yeah guys Wimby's is a place that you know opened up a, a year or two ago I believe and they you know just have like physical media in this little back corner of the store and I usually come here every once in a while to see what kind of um, you know things I can find blu-ray wise they do have like a lot more DVDs than you know than blue rizzles uh, up in this place but you know, it's always cool to come across some fun stuff in here because you never know, you know, what, what you what, what you could find. You know what I mean? You could find maybe some out-of-print stuff, uh, DVD-wise, uh, in here. You just never, never know. Like high tension. That that that's a that's a great flick. If you guys have never seen it, highly recommend that. If you've never, never, you know, got a chance to see that. But you know, look at that little tiny horror section going on uh, over here. But let me see if I can find, you know some blu-rays that they have oh wait a minute what is that the Stuart gordon box set that that's pretty cool it's from full moon and everything has like pit in the pendulum castle freak it has a bonus disc in there and something called death red that's pretty dope it's only six bucks for this uh this little box set right here i always kind of like the look and uh the look of those you know full moon uh, dvd box set sometimes you know what i mean you know these are the same people that you know made the course the puppet master flicks uh, if, if you guys didn't know that already well guys it doesn't look like they have a, a section for blu-rays i think they may all be sold out or, or you know gotten sold or something but they do have a good abundance of dvds up in here wait 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 a minute i guess the blu-rays are behind the counter so if i want to get blu-rays i'm gonna have to go check up front and see if they have anything video wise i don't know if that's gonna happen well guys just got out of Wimby's right there uh look at looked at some of the blu-rays that they had up front and the lady had to like take out this little tub and show me uh nothing really interesting in there a lot of common titles the only thing that looked kind of cool uh was like the it was brand new factory sealed with a lenticular cover of uh inception uh on blu-ray i already have that flick but you know with the lenticular cover i haven't seen it in a while so yeah that was pretty much all i saw in there that was Semi cool looking. All right, at my last stop of the day, Best Buy, baby. Let's head on in there and see what kind of new releases they got out today. Well, guys, in Best Buy right now, and the only two new releases that they have right here is Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and of course, Blinded by the Light. Both good, both decent flicks for what they are, but I liked Blinded by the Light just a little bit more. Uh, I, I talked about it in my last hoarding up video and stuff from Warner Brothers uh, right here. This one's from Paramount, but that's only pretty much only other things I see that and. Uh, Heather's, the 30th anniversary uh, edition on Blu-ray Steelbook, uh, of course, with, with Renona Ryder right here. That's kind of cool with a little, like, you know, pencil uh, as the spine and everything like that. I've owned this movie multiple times in the you know, throughout the years with, like, VHS, DVD. I believe I have, I have like, one or two versions of this on Blu-ray already. So, I, I don't know if there's anything different about the special features on here that would warrant me getting it but for 20 bucks i don't know if i need to rebuy this again you know what i mean there's only so many movies i can buy over and over and over again and his head there's one of them you know what i mean it's like I, I think i already have like i said two blu-ray editions of it and i think i may have one that came out from anchor bay in like a locker set like it's like it's been stored away for a while i don't know man the collector in me is going get it but the other part of me is going, bro, do you have the room? Do you have the room? But uh, I think I'm going to pass on this one right here. I believe it may have came out last week, but it's the first time I saw it in person. But guys, let's head on home now. And 
I had a package in the mail before I left the house, so let's go over there and open it. Well, I'm back home from my little outing adventure right here. I uh, just got back, and like I said, I had a package in the mail, uh, which I got before I left the house, which I'm going to unbox for you guys. And I also got this one in the mail box on the way home, so I have two things I'm going to unbox for you guys right now. But when it comes to Joyride, I looked in my collection, and it looks like I only have the third one. Which I think I got like as a screener, you know, through like the 20th Century Fox or whatever company. So I'm probably going to have to go back to uh, Big Lots to pick up the first one. Because obviously the first one is the better one of the bunch. But like, it's just kind of weird. Why the hell do I just have random number three in my collection? It's kind of making me go, I, I could have sworn I've owned uh, at least the first one on Blu-ray before. Or I have it on DVD somewhere and it's, it's just in a different place. But whatever. Door Ride 3. I, I don't know why I have that in my collection. I haven't even watched that one in years. You know what I mean? Like, I think I've seen it once. But, uh, yeah. Let me open this up right here. This first package and uh, see what it is. This one's coming from, I believe, the people at um, Epic Pictures. Also known as uh, Dread Central Presents. So, let's see what the, the newest title is that they have. They, they usually come in these little white boxes. And it's something called The Fair. That looks like a cool, creepy kind of cover. Uh, of course, this is the same company that put out, you know, uh, To Hell and Back, the Kane Hodder documentary. And they, they put out a, a, you know, a whole bunch of, like, you know, in, indie horror flicks uh, right here. It says, a beautifully crafted mystery. So I guess it's a mystery horror flick right here. Uh, hmm. I'm definitely be checking this one out soon. So if you guys are into, you know, the Dread Sensor Presents line, this is their newest one. Uh, that's out right now. Uh, the Fair. But this one, this big package, or the a bigger er package, is coming from Shout Factory. And uh, I never usually get stuff from them that's in a package like this. You know what I mean? They usually come in like little bubble mailers. This is a little bit bigger and a little bit heftier. So let's find out what this one is uh, right here. I kind of sort of have a feeling, you know, what it could be. But I'm not 100% sure. But, uh... Oh, oh, yeah. It's exactly what I think it is. And it's the... Ba -ba 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 -ba. The Abbott and Costello, uh, complete, uh, yeah, the complete Universal Picture Collection, which features 28 films for the first time in all, you know, not all of them, some of them have been released on Blu-ray, but, uh, not in a collection pack like this, all, uh, 28 films in high definition featuring audio commentaries, uh, trailers, and a 44-page booklet, uh, in here. This one right here, I've always been, I've always been a fan of Abbott and Costello since, you know, my dad showed me uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein uh, when I was a kid, and then I just sort of got got into their flicks because of him. And I even have this old uh, DVD set of Abbott and Costello when this one officially came out from, uh, you know, Universal, or like what, I don't know, like, like a good amount of years ago, I bought this one because it has, like, all those movies in it, too. I don't know if this is the same exact... You know, all, all the same exact movies or anything like that that's in this DVD set that I had forever. You know, but like now, it's because it, it looks like it looks the same because this is the Shout Factory one, but I, with I, with I, which I believe is all the same thing in a smaller, you know, condensed version of Abbott and Costello. You know, if you guys don't know who these guys are, man, these guys are just like, you know, they're amazing. They're amazing comic duo and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like who's on first and everything like that, if you guys don't know what that is. But it looks like it comes with like a slew of special features through the Shout Factory Select line right here. So now I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with my treasure chest, you know, of the Abner Costello collection, which I had for a, a long, long time, because I have them all now on Blu-ray through Shout Factory, man. You know what? I'm gonna open this up. Let's see, let's get more in depth and see what this looks like inside. But yeah, I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's up in here. But I'm gonna try to open it in a way where I can kind of sort of keep the plastic wrapped around it. A little bit, if if I if it's even possible to do so, because I'm kind of, kind of a, I'm kind of weird like that sometimes. If I can just like sort of like leave the plastic around the sides, I don't I don't even know if it really matters in the long run. But I just I sort of just do that, like kind of like that, and then like take the discs out. So let's let's see what you know what comes in this. It comes in a nice you know nice hard box right there, and it says like I said, it comes with a 44 page, uh, you know booklet with like you know just different pictures and like you know like information on the different movies that are. Uh, in this, in these sets right here. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Okay, cool. But I, I think this is essentially the same thing as the DVD set that I have, which is now all on HD, which I think is cool uh, that are in here. And this is how the dis the discs are housed in, in there. Like each movie uh, gets, you know, it looks like gets their own disc. 
and everything like that. There's may, there's some discs that may have two move, two flicks on them and everything. But uh, yeah, man, it, it's just pretty sweet how they you know have the discs housed uh, you know in this set right here. I don't know, I, I dig it, man. These movies are cool, you know what I mean? Like, especially, like, the Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. That That's my, my all-time favorite one. And, uh, of course, uh, what was it called? Uh, what was the other one called that I really liked? Uh, Abbott and Costello uh, meet the Invisible Man. That, that, that Those two are my favorite ones that I always remembered uh, from when I was younger and stuff. But, like, it's just so cool now to get them all on uh, HD in one big set. You know, you know, in one condensed set uh, in my collection. But it kind of... I kind of sort of want to keep this one too, just because the look and you know this looks cool like a treasure chest, you know the old school Universal one. But I kind of like how you um you know Shout Factory or Shout Select kept the same look and feel as the the Universal one. It says it's celebrating the, its 80th anniversary, the 80th anniversary uh, Blu-ray edition. But yeah, like once you take the Blu-rays out of the box, this is what they you know they they look like right here. Like you know each little volume set of you know which films are on, or you know in each little. Uh, you know, pack right here, which I think is kind of a cool little thing that they did, uh, you know, for this set. You know, but if you guys want to get a copy of this, make sure you guys hit up uh, shopfactory.com. If you guys want to get all the classic Abbott Ab and Costello movies on uh, on Blu-ray, you know, uh, check them out, you know, shopfactory.com. Really, really cool, man. Thank you, Shout Factory, for sending this on over for me to showcase uh, for my videos and stuff. Obviously, I'm a, you know, I'm a fan of these guys, and it's just it's just so cool to you know get get their movies you know updated you know on on a better format if you know what I mean. But guys, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did in any way, please hit that like button and uh, you know hit that you know subscribe button if you guys haven't subscribed yet, and that bell notification so you get notified uh, whenever I upload new content. But guys, like 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 like. I know, I'm trying to be like a typical YouTuber. Hit that like button, man. Let's see if we can get to like 700, you know, thumbs up on this video if we can. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time.